I uh, often do look at a pile of stuff at work and think maybe I should stick that on my face. The Bob Bugs project started with just my Instagram account and I started using it for an art diary. I got an idea. Every day I disguise myself in some way. Day 363, now for a creative breakthrough. My name is Michael Gump. I am an art director and a prop master for crazy TV shows, and I'm also known as Bob Bugs. The Master of Disguise project is partly to build creative strength or maybe to like exorcise uh, creative demons, you know, in a way that's not just at my job, but also for my own evil wishes. You look at the picture, it maybe seems like it took a million years. I'm usually like, I gotta get this done, I gotta get that. So I just like, I get my stuff and I set it all up and start. So I usually like, you know, start with this area and then work my way out. And then it'll be like. People ask me all the time, like how many people do you have to help you with that? Usually nobody. Does it hurt? One that stands out in my mind was a kind of like, what am I doing? I, I was putting clothespins on my face, and so I started sticking them on there, and then, and then I kind of panicked a little bit. I took them all off. I was like, okay, <laughs> and then, and I was like, okay, let's, this is gonna be fine. And then, I, and then I put them all back on. Like you get used to discomfort pretty fast, but I'm concerned that it's definitely not that good for my skin. Do you have a favorite? I do have a special place in my heart for the one that's uh, like a green Mr. T because I just think it's funny. Like uh, Mr. Green Tea, I call it. It's been a kind of exhausting process in some ways. I, I usually only get like maybe three hours of sleep a night. The discovery of the project and part of the point of the project is that you don't always know what's good. So on the days that I really feel tired and I don't really want to do it, I don't really have a very good idea, Sometimes those projects come out better than the ones that I'm really excited about. What's next? We'll have to wait and see.